All right, guys, people, I'm here back with more uh, Oxen Free 2. Let's see how this goes. So far, it's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Uh, um, damn it. Uh, this isn't the right time. Hey, wait, kid. You, you Didn't I see you before? Away. Keep away from all of this for your own good. This okay. isn't for you. So, just who are, who are you? What are you doing? Leave it alone. Don't, don't listen to them. Don't do anything. Stay back. Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley, answer, please. Over. Evelyn, there was there was some kid breaking into the general store. Uh, sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I wanted to tell you that, actually, man, have you ever gotten deja vu? You're a serious. I think we're. I think we might be stuck in a, a loop or something. We've done this before. I... Riley, uh, are you still there? You're getting bad. Riley, but our antenna—it oh. it broke. They planted the beacon thing, and it ruined everything. Got overworked. I'll have to to repair it, re rebuild it, or no. somehow or well. Ruin. It's her again. She keeps trying to. What the hell just happened? Okay, so now what the hell is this? Um. Okay. Well, that's something. Got to be kidding me. Again? Ah! I think I fixed the, the loop, I guess. Oh, man, I don't know what the hell is going on. Maybe, maybe Jacob does, or I don't know. I, I should find him regardless. Or maybe he's back in his truck. This 
is going to be okay. The forest is the town of trees, where they live quite at ease, with their neighbors at their side, just as we in cities wide. Okay. <sighs> So is this after them? Is this, wasn't the other one 9 p.m.? Sorry, you scared me. Whew. Gotta get my heart a second. Didn't you hear me? God, I've been calling out for five minutes. I, uh, sorry, no, I, 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 I didn't. Oh my God, R Riley, this is, I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? I, I was, we were planning the transmitter. Some lights came out of it and then over Edwards Island. Are you okay? You seem alive. I think I'm okay. Yeah. Ah! Hey, guys, are you there? Oh, it's it's Evelyn. Jesus. Hello. Are you there? You need to pick up, please. Hey, Evelyn, we're we're here. Did did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it it, it, it kind of knocked us out for a bit. But we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't... We don't know what happened. D do you? Over. Oh, jeez, guys. I, I don't... I honestly don't think it was lightning. I, I don't have eyes over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing right now. Uh, oh, really? Well, if, if, if you could see what's going on, it seems risky. Over. I'm sorry. I know this is hard. But it has big ramifications if the equipment's overloading. You need to go back to the transmitter and tell me what it's doing while we still have time. Time to do what? In time for us to figure out what's going on before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. Over. Ah, uh, this. You, you don't really know what you're asking us to do here. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's just do it fast, Riley. Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half and medical, in case our damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. Just please double can time you? and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. But here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too. Game. Thank you. This should work. Man, what a night. Look, uh, I, I know this really sucks what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. But, but it moment. seems extremely bad is all I can muster right now. And we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. Oh, cool. So I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter yeah, so far this definitely feels, feels a lot like more like right man jacob i, uh, I don't really love to believe that right term, well but you should if only for the next hour or so it helps trust me
Wait, wait, wait. Listen. Their transmitter That's... knocked everything out of whack. The reverberation destroyed our antenna. We... We need to repair it. We... Hey! We can hear you, you know. This isn't a secure line. Over. Oh, no, Riley. Huh. It's you. You know, they did mention something about a stranger coming with a shield she thinks is a sword. I didn't think it'd be a 45-year-old with a transmitter. But I guess that's my fault for assuming things. Who's they? Who Ooh, are you talking about? Who are you? They, the moon and all the planets, and even those flying saucers that abducted those cows ten years ago. I say, we were Charlie, are you still there? Yeah. Head to the ranger station. You can get the receiver there. We need it to fix the antenna, okay? Oh, and Riley? Riley Poverly, right? How's the new job? You like it? Is it working now? Uh, it's going great, thanks. My exit interview will be nothing but praise. Good to hear. I'm happy for you. They're happy for you, too. Watch for the stars. They will be your guide. Over and out. That doesn't sound good. They sound young. You have any idea who they could be? Uh, I, I don't know. One of them sounds familiar, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, cool. Throw the okay, cool. Whatever, I guess. Stop again? No? Cool. Let's let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. Wait, so this is open okay so yeah is it full on time travel or not even time travel because it's like like it Come is on. like are these concurrent what the hell could why why is it doing this i have no earthly idea riley but we are can these, figure like, that out when we stop it like is this entire thing concurrent i guess like anyway is it like uh like, we're not going back in time. We're back here again. Yeah, this is still Crap. here. Okay, okay. This, uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. You see that? What the hell is that? That giant thing in the sky. That's a huge light show. It looks like like a giant hole in the sky. How is that possible? Is the transmitter really affecting it? It's beaming some kind of energy to it, but... Riley, this is gonna sound... I, I, I don't know, but this is all... I've heard about this. Someone told me this was possible years ago. She... no one really believed her. But she knew. Even 30, 40 years ago, she knew. Wait. Hmm. Riley, do you... do you hear that? There's... Is that? Uh, hear what? You don't hear that? It sounds like... It, it sounds like... Kids. Jacob? Jacob, can can you hear me? Oh my. This is a nightmare. I, oh god. What is that noise? 
to do something here. I can't just... But, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. said miss bar's closing you gotta go home hey anyone know her anyone friends with this woman anyone no do I have to call somebody how did I get, how, how did I get here this... how'd you get here how are you getting home that's the that's what we're hey wait buddy you were talking to her earlier Uh, wait, wait, Jacob, where, I, where are, are we? Are we in, th this is Garland? God, this is crazy. The time glitches, the jumping around. Riley, I think I might know what's going on. But first, let's get the hell out of here. Hmm. So what are we doing? Oh, looks like a climbing anchor. Well, I won't be able to use this unless I get some rope somewhere. Oh, so I need to get rope first. Well, shit. Evelyn, you there? Over. Oh, we're back down here. Oh, I don't think we can get through. Look, I, I... I think I know what might be going on, but it's going to take some explaining. My cottage is just up the way here. I might have something that could help. It's not very far. I find it very hard to believe that you could honestly have anything to help with... I don't even know what this problem is. I, I know, I know. It's... This is going to sound crazy. I took this job because I've been into this stuff ever since I was young. And I'm not just randomly into radio technology. I mean, I know, I know what transmitters are for a reason. 
When I was a kid, there was this older lady who lived in town. Well, she lived on Edwards Island, really, but she got her groceries and stuff in town. She studied this stuff. Weird frequencies, signals. She had lots of theories no one believed, or would believe. When we were kids, we were kind of friends, and I, I have a lot of her journals still. I know she wrote about something like this. I, I think it can help. I know it can. Um, what theories? What, what did she think about... I'm sorry, I, I'm confused. She had ideas about these weird frequencies before any of it ever happened? Uh, sort of. Well, I mean, it kind of has always been happening. It just, let's just see if her work helps first. And then uh, I, I can give you the footnotes, you know? It's not far. The cabin's just up uh, this way. Not that it's gonna wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Yeah, just, just so you don't think. It's not like this is my beach house or anything. My parents had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. Hey, it's pretty cool to get a free cabin. Well, free in a sense. I didn't have to pay for it, certainly, but I paid for it, you know? The cabin and the money left me and my parents' will means that I have to work, but it's not like a huge deal, basically. I, uh, <laughs> I used to worry this made me a boring person. Yeah, I wouldn't tell dates or people I just met. No, it's, uh, it makes you more intriguing. It's a story. I'm compelled to remind you that this place was an inheritance. I'm not a secret billionaire. Just look at my shoes. I like it. It's like if a tree fork could grow up. Hey, thanks. I try to keep it ship shape. All the stuff that we need is inside. So just take a minute, I know exactly where it is. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Who would have guessed? Mm. Do we need to review doors again? No, I... The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're... Oh, I can picture it. They're in the kitchen drawer. I was moving things around this morning. And I forgot to put them back in my pants. Ah, <sighs> God. Sorry. I watched a video on how to pick locks. I think I remember the host's hair color. Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit. And if push comes, I'll just unscrew the damn thing. <sighs> so what am I doing? That's... Hey, can we just get in from here? Absolutely. If... My truck was here with the garage door opener. Sorry. Did that? No. Okay. Uh. Oh, ladder. Doesn't look like he cleans the gutters much. Eh, maybe he plans to. Oh. Damn it. Swell. Almost there. Rats. Maybe? No. surprised I need to get up there hmm hmm nope a ladder right this should reach the window
really? This is going to take a while. they'd be twins. Check it in. The explanation isn't fun, so just imagine I did something really impressive. I'll assume I probably just left something unlocked. Uh, the journal should be just over here. I know there was one where she talked about gates, windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. Just uh, hang, hang on. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, this is it. W one of the journals that belonged to Maggie Adler. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast, when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake. The, the, the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. It split the crewmen from our reality, forced them in between time, in between dimensional planes. They were gone, but not really. Each and every last one of them. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future, but, you know, without hard proof. Without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one really except me believed her. I mean, n not that I, you know, blame them. I mean, okay. Okay, I think I buy this as much as any other plausible enough sounding explanation. Just look, this one, she told me about ghosts, about people she cared about. A woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them gates. And I think that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. I could barely understand what she was talking about. I was just a kid, you know? I could barely understand Jim. Am I supposed to be going somewhere? So, what are they? Or it? What is it? I still have no idea what it is. It's, I, I think it's a hole between what Maggie called comprehensive states of matter. Everyone else would probably call them timelines or, or maybe dimensions or something. Miss Adler said she spoke through a, a portal or a gateway or whatever to a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He was on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. These were my versions of, you know, of campfire stories, I guess. But just wait, there's more here. What we need is this guy. Yeah, here it is. She writes, huh. Huh. Jacob, come on, what'd she say? Oh yeah, sorry, she's, uh, she, she says that harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal, see? See, so that's this. This is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. Th that first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out the, the gate. So, transmitters can diffuse the source signal. We can use them to stop it, based on what Maggie thinks, at least. Which is definitely what we want to do, because you know, Ma Maggie says she wrote here that the gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can 
in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence. Which doesn't sound good. Does it not? Man. So, uh, what will happen exactly if the portal or whatever stays open? It sounds like it'll really screw up our timeline. Maybe destroy it? The general store's holding our transmitters, right? And climbing gear? Because if that's the case, we should be all set. Once we get them, I mean. So I know the owner, and I know where the key is, so that's no problem. After that, we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right harmonic frequency. The math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height. So for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that, it should work. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's get back to the general store, get those transmitters and gear. I just hope we're right. Hi, Riley! Riley, are you there? Pick up right now! Over! Oh, it's Evelyn. We should loop her in. Riley! Jacob? You guys there? Um, I've got to run that one. Uh, I'm a little busy here, Evelyn. You need something? Over. Yeah. Uh, what's going on with the transmitters? The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? Over! Some old ladies' journals Jacob had lying around. What? Just, just don't worry, we know what to do. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Hmm. Uh, actually, this, that might work. Ah, and the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. But this is better. All right, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. Oh, and Jacob. Sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no. Not, uh, not yet. You know, I, I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, th th thanks for checking. Over and out. Sorry, I, uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Something spooked her, but... I... I, I don't know. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. So where am I supposed... am I supposed to be going back down? This is like such a small portion of the map. I should probably end, actually, shouldn't I? Yeah, we'll probably end here then, right? Yeah, we're very 30 minutes in. So we'll end here. I'll be back tomorrow, probably. Okay, I hit the mic. I'm an idiot, but probably be back tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes, but for now, thank you for watching.